Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about chapter 9, the thermal properties of matter. Let's talk about internal energy first. The internal energy of a body is a combination of the total kinetic energy due to the motion of the particles and the potential energy due to forces of attraction between the particles of the body. The kinetic component is due to the vibration of the particles and is related to its temperature. If it has a higher temperature, it will have a higher rate of vibration and a higher speed. Therefore, the kinetic component will be higher. The potential component is due to the stretching and compressing of interatomic or intermolecular bonds and is related to the changes of states. For example, solids have the lowest potential energy because the particles in the solids are closest together. Water has a slightly higher potential energy because the particles are slightly further apart and gas has the most potential energy in the particles because the particles are very far apart. Therefore, the transfer of thermal energy into or out of a body can cause one of two things. The first one is that it can cause the temperature to rise or drop and this changes the kinetic energy of particles. For example, if you are heating water, you will use a fire to increase the temperature of the water from room temperature to let's say 90 degrees. This input of thermal energy from the fire into the water causes the kinetic energy of the particles to increase, increasing their speed of vibration and therefore the temperature would rise. However, if you put thermal energy into a substance, you can also change its state. When you change its state, it changes the potential energy of the particles, which means so the example here would be like if you have water at 100 degrees Celsius already, you input more energy into this water, you will cause it to boil and change its state from water at 100 degrees Celsius into game at 100 degrees Celsius. So this change in state does require energy as well, even though the temperature did not change. Transferring thermal energy into an object can result in either one of these two things to occur. However, these two things cannot occur at the same time. If the energy makes the temperature rise, it will not make it change state. If the energy is making it change state, the temperature will not change. So, a short recap, the states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. And over here is the changes of states of matter. Solid to liquid is melting, liquid to gas is boiling or evaporation, gas to liquid is condensation, and liquid to solid will be freezing. Solid will have the lowest amount of energy, and when energy is absorbed, it will form liquid and then go to gas. Gas has the highest energy, therefore when it releases energy, it will then become liquid and then liquid will become solid. Melting is the process in which a substance changes its state from solid to liquid, the particles will vibrate faster. Some will break free of their neighboring particles. They can then now move freely within the liquid. The temperature at which this happens is called the melting point. Freezing is from liquid to solid and it's called the freezing point. For a pure substance, the melting point is equal to the freezing point. Boiling is a change in state from liquid to gas. When the liquid boils, the temperature stops rising. The temperature at which this happens is called the boiling point and bubbles are formed. Condensation is the reverse of boiling, it's from gas to liquid. Gas particles have a lot of energy. Some particles lose this energy when they bump into a cooler surface. They will form intermolecular bonds with other molecules, releasing their energy and becoming particles of liquid. For a pure substance, the boiling point has the same temperature as the condensation point.